thank God I was so worried I couldn't find you back there. Right, let... <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I think the term is listening until you so rudely interrupted me. It's not rude when it's my MP3. Where's all my music? I got rid of it. It was too vanilla. Don't worry. I gave you some of mine. Trust me, you'll like it much better. I'm here to see Tomas Delgado. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm a friend of his. And who are you? His wife. No. Tomas Delgado. He is no married though. Ah, oui. Tomas Delgado is married. To me, les Américains sont si gauche. Check with forensics like you asked. They're still putting together the report in the carbon monoxide poisoning. Light a fire under them. All right, we're not going to get Manning without evidence. Which Manning? I don't care. They're both guilty. You want me to spill my guts here? Now? I mean, they could totally be listening. Okay. Don't be paranoid. You're one to talk. Jack, listen to me. You are safe. This conversation is privileged, meaning no one can use what you say here against you. Yeah, right? but I, you don't have a choice. Your father's right. Until he's released, there is nowhere else the three of us can discuss a strategy for keeping you out of prison. Could that really happen? Gigi Marasco is brain dead. Unless a miracle occurs, you could very likely be charged with murder. God, the injustice of it all. What is it, honey? Rex should be here with Gigi. Where is he? Your mind is going with your heart, old man. You're not making sense. It makes perfect sense. Think about it. There is no way you're getting Gigi's heart. I'm at the top of the transplant list. Gigi is an organ donor. Shane is her next of kin, but he's not of age, so he can't challenge. And you didn't marry her, so you can't challenge either. Now, you may not want me to have Gigi's heart, but you do not have a say in this matter. Jessica. <laughs> no. Tomas is not married. He, he would have told me. Ah, oh, yes, because American men are known for being honest with their skinny little sex toys. I'm not his sex toy, okay? In fact, Tomas and I haven't even... Haven't what? You don't know one thing about me. Oh, contraire. I believe I know more about you than you know about... Of course. You as a woman from Tomas's painting? Oh. The, 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 the painting, the one that he did of me from a picture from a flea market photo? Is this the story he told you? <laughs> I hate that painting. For years, Tomas polluted my vision with the bust of that horrible giraffe woman. And now he finds out he went looking for you. No, my husband is sick. Why? He can't be married. I... You still don't believe me. Ask him yourself. Oh, I can't believe it. You deleted all of my music? Believe me, your ears will thank you. Who do you think you are? Stealing my private property and vandalizing it. Sue me for trying to enlighten you. Maybe I will. After I call campus security. Wait, no. Calm down. Look, your precious Muzak lives on in my laptop. If you're really that in love with it, I'll put it back. Do it. Don't you at least want to listen? Now. Fine. 
I will be happy to restore your MP3 player to its depressing state of mediocrity. Under one condition. What I miss? Releasing him. So I guess this means that you haven't found Marty and you can't prove that I had anything to do with her escape. No statute of limitations on this one, buddy, and for you, I got all the time in the world. Okay, do you mind, uh... Yeah, I mind. We're gonna have a little chat about your son. Did you get a hold of Rex? Just went straight to voicemail. Well, honey, he's probably with Shane. No, no, Shane's with Roxy because Rex didn't want him in the room when the doctors were talking about Gigi being an organ donor. God, this is so awful. Rex is in so much pain, Mom. And I want to help him through this, but I can't help but think of Dad, too. And I don't know how to help them both. I know, I know, sweetheart. Oh, how did you... How did you handle it? When it was bad. I loved him very much. I couldn't... I couldn't bear to let him go. That's exactly how Rex feels. Maybe Rex just needs a little time alone, you know? That's what I'm worried about. Because there's no telling what he would do. Rex was a wreck the last time I saw him. Well, I tell you what, go and find him then, okay? I'm gonna stay with JJ. Okay. Okay. You out of your mind? Gigi and I were living together. We were engaged. This happened on our wedding day, okay? We were gonna get married, but I... you didn't. Well, it was obvious what she wanted, okay? Any court would see that. Wrong. You need a better understanding of the law. Do you think I would be this confident if I weren't sure about how this is gonna end? Do you think I care how you feel? Gigi is off limits to you, okay? Now and forever. Okay. You're free to argue with the hospital's attorneys, but you are going to lose. And do you think you want to spend Gigi's last hours on Earth in a courtroom? No, oh, Rex. You should go to her. You should be by her side. Take her hand. Tell her that you love her. And say goodbye. You first. What do you think you're doing? Did the Buchanan's grab you? Is that what happened? They got you, and now you're pretending to be Jessica. I told so you, said, you I'm like, not. Listen, listen, listen. You don't have to do it anymore. I talked to Cutter. He, he agreed to give you a divorce. Look, it's all signed and sealed right here. Okay? Look, you're in the clear. You just have to come with me. All right? We'll get married. Don't touch me. Look, whatever you did to give this, get this guy to give me a divorce. Thank you very much. But if you think I'm trading one sleaze ball in for another, you have lost your mind. You really heard it. Exactly. Tess, please, I know you're in there. Come out and talk it's to me. It's not happening. Tess is gone, and she's never coming back. Do you know, I can't believe that it's been three and a half years. Only. I feel like I've known you forever. I will never forget how you welcomed me into the family of the Bonjour. No hesitation with open arms. You lit that place up whenever you walked in. And actually, you do that everywhere you go. It's kind of impossible to feel unloved and weak when we're near you. Because you have so much love and so much strength to spare, and you're just not stingy with it. You came into my life, JG, at a time when I was really lost. Thanks to you and the bonjour, I found myself in Paris, Texas. That's a debt I can never repay. Oh, I know. I know, you would just brush it off, but I'm gonna try. Honey, I'm here with you. And I offer you all my love and all my strength. And you take it, okay? You take whatever you need. You don't want to do this. I'll do anything to protect Gigi. Rex, there's nothing left to protect. She's gone. 
Not as long as I'm still here. Putting her heart inside of you would be a sick, cruel joke. I'm not gonna let that happen. If you kill me, you will go to prison. And then what about Shane? I'll take care of you, then I'll take care of Shane. Well, you think about that. I have. Plenty. It's time to stop thinking and start doing. Don't stop. Rex! Rex, what are you doing? It's not my fault what happened to Gigi. Jack? Please release my husband. Oh, he can't, uh, can't be released until his paperwork is cleared. What's the holdup? Well, it seems the paperwork has gone missing, so, uh... Hey, what do you say we use this time productively? What do you say, Jack? What business do you have with my stepson? Well, it's the business about the problems that Jack had at the high school with Shane Marasco. Where are you getting your information, John? The girls' locker room? The Landview High School administration has never suspended or even disciplined Jack Manning for any reason whatsoever. It is my understanding that the same thing cannot be said for Shane Marasco. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think Shane got all, into all that trouble on his own, though. Well, since when do you care? Since Gigi wound up brain dead because of your son's problems. The way we see it, Gigi was lured to a trap that was meant for Shane. Jack here to the luring. Let me get this straight. You swipe my MP3. You trash my tunes. I relocate. You replaced them with your supposedly better music, and I ask you nicely to put my music back After on you there. Me and you say security. under one condition? That about covers it. I'm not going out with you, buddy. What makes you think I want to date you? Nothing. You know, I don't care what you want. I just want... I want my MP3 player back, and... Fine. You know what? Whatever. No, I'll hold, replace the hold music up. myself. Hold up. My one condition is that you just give it a chance. Pick any song on this MP3 player, listen to it from start to finish, and then tell me it's not better than anything you already have. Unbelievable. Don't be so close-minded. This is college. We're supposed to be challenging our preconceptions, expanding our horizons. And you think your music will do that for me? It's a start. Arrogant much? If you hate it, feel free to call security. And then I can tell you how pretentious and snotty you are? Deal. you the same thing. I told you I had business. Mm -hmm. And I came to surprise you because I thought maybe you'd taken count on that date that you owe me. But um, I guess I'm the one that is surprised here. You didn't come here to meet your gallery owner, did you? You came here to see your wife. What, are you going to deny that, that you're married? No. I am married, but I can explain. Blind bastard. 